Hi everyone, um, I thought I'd put a video together of my 76 mile an hour run at Battle Mountain this year, which was 2025. Um, this was the Saturday morning run on the final day of the competition, so this, the seventh day that we've been, that we've been running. Um, we went on the Friday evening run. We thought that was going to be the last uh, opportunity for low winds, uh, in the week we did a 74 mile an hour run on um, on the Friday but then we got out to the cup we booked ourselves in the slots for the um, for the Saturday morning and evening runs and got out to the course on the Saturday morning and the winds were far less than predicted um, right on the limit of, of being legal wind which is about 3.6 mile an hour from memory um, so we got ourselves all warmed up and uh, and ready to go. Take the paper. Mm. Barney, just keep us as far back as possible. Yeah. So at this point I've done my 25 minute warm up on the rollers. Okay. Oh, you're a stickler for detail, Calvin. Yeah, that feels good. Ready whenever you are. Okay. So let me just take another drink. I'm just trying to keep myself calm at this point. Uh, you can see my heart rate's fairly high, but that's more uh, that's more nerves than anything. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yes, mate. Go on. Yeah. Yeah. Go on, buddy. Go on. So I'll get a, get a great launch from Barney. Um, the goal is to be doing 32 mile an hour by the time we get to the 5 mile marker board, which you can just see coming up on the right hand side of this image. Just about get there. Put a big effort in at the start, about 375 watts for 30 or 40 seconds. Um, and then after that, I'm aiming to drop down to 270 watts, which is about as much as I can do. I know that I can hold this for about four minutes until I get to the one mile marker board to go. So over the course of the week, I'd figured out that the the best position to be in on the road was the, the middle of the left lane. Because you can see how many car filled joints there are on the course it's really really bumpy and um, hopefully we can get the uh, we can persuade Nevada to resurface the road in the future but this was this is as bad as we've ever seen it um, you can see that the bike's bumping all over the place it got a lot worse if we moved over into the right hand lane so the the least bad position on the road was the the middle of the left hand lane um, so I'm laser focused on the road at the moment I've got um, I can occasionally glance toward to see the marker boards and another kind of um, uh, landmarks along the, along the course like the portaloo at, at mile two and a half it kind of helps position you where you are on the course but really I'm just laser focused on the the, the white line on the left and the and the yellow dash line down the middle of the road trying to keep my position uh, occasional glances towards the Garmin computer just to check that my power is about where it should be you can see it's a little bit low at this point um, and then I'm checking that the speeds are about right as we get to each mile marker board so we've just passed three and a half mile marker board, marker board there 
the three mile mark that's coming up I'm aiming for 63 miles an hour I think I'm slightly short on that although the, the speed on this run isn't actually from this run I've had to import it from another run because the speed sensor didn't pick up on this run so I was doing this run I was doing this run blind on, on speed Just see the porta potty going past on the right hand side. There is a wind from the left hand side of this image which is uh, gusting as we go down the course. The run before mine was legal, the run afterwards was uh, an illegal run, the, this, the wind speed was too high, so we got, we got very lucky to get the, to get legal winds as we went through the traps. That's the one and a half mile marker board that's just gone past on the right hand side. I'm now really concentrating on taking some huge deep breaths because I know that the big effort is going to start at one mile. So that's the one mile marker board on the right hand side. I know I've got I've now got about 50 seconds of all out effort. I've split this down in my head into three equal efforts. I know I've got to do 10 big breaths to get to the from the one mile marker to the thousand meter board, which is just past now. Ten more big breaths with all out effort to get to the 500 meter board. So I'm aiming at 450 to 500 watts here. That's the 500 meter board. And now I'm just hanging on, aiming for 10 breaths to get through the traps. That's the flags at the start of the traps. And the end of the traps. Absolutely spent at this point. Russell through the traps, 77 heading for catch. Slowing down approach and catch, the goal is to go through those flags at about 30 mile an hour, which I'm pretty much at there. And then um, this, is, this does represent pretty much what you can see on the screen inside the bike. It's a fairly pixelated image. I'm aiming for the two guys with their hands up, just aiming for the gap in between them to come to a steady stop. But a wind catches me just as I'm coming in, so I end up uh, nearly taking Derek out. shots at the end here of us coming into catch and then a video of the results meeting that follows the runs. Seventy-six point one one. <laughs> <laughs> but legal wins. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're obviously 
ecstatic to have done 76.11 miles an hour. Slightly disappointed that we didn't get the uh, 77 mile an hour, which would have got us the British record, but uh, we've got to be very, very proud of, of uh, what we achieved.